Hi, what's up guys? Um, today we're going to be installing a Smittybilt XRC front bumper as well as a Badlands Apex 12,000 pound winch. I've got some Nylite flush fit lights, um, which I think will be a good choice. I mean, I'm not going to spend crazy money on lights. Um, the Nylites I've made are pods, have gotten a little bit of condensation, but I have the flush fits from my reverse lights. They don't have any condensation, so that's where I made a decision there. Um, we're going to kind of can them at a weird angle, but I think it'll end up looking cool, so you know, we'll do that. We got a little bit of frame damage right here from whenever I rolled the Jeep on its side. Um, I don't know if I ever showed that, probably didn't, but I got in a ditch, some sugar sand, and I rolled the Jeep on its side, leaning up against pine trees. So it was, uh, it was pretty nice and it got snatched out pretty hard. So there's a little bit of frame damage. I don't know if it'll affect it, but blowtorch and a sledgehammer might fix that. Um, you can see this hook bent up a little bit, but uh, should be that, should be good. Pretty little quick video I mean, of installing this bumper and winch. All right, so we're going to start by uh, removing these light bulbs. Uh, it's going to be a 14 millimeter deep well. Obviously, this isn't a factory thing, so if you don't have these lights, it doesn't matter, but it's a 14 millimeter deep well. Next up is going to be a T55 for these hooks. Um, there's going to be two bolts on the top. If you have hooks, maybe you don't. But there's going to be two bolts on top and one on the bottom. They're going to be T55s. Um, I just have a Pittsburgh set with a half inch drive, so that's what I'm going to be using. That one was easy. This other side's where it's bent, so we're gonna have to cut these out a little bit more. Bolts are still straight. Okay, we'll look at this real quick. The the bolt's still like perfectly straight. Let's see if it'll focus. But you do have a little bit of like it bit the threads at the bottom there. So you can see it right there at the bottom. So I don't know if that's it bent and I just fought it out, but there are, there's a little bit, you can see right here, a little bit of thread damage there. This same cannot be said for this bolt. Off. All right, so this side, as you can see, I mean, it's got the dirt on it, but perfectly level, perfectly square. It's great. Yeah, there's definitely, definitely a little bit of an issue happening here. We're gonna, we're gonna think up a way to fix this because I don't think the bumper's gonna go on like that. As soon as we do, I'll tune you back in on it. All right. All right. So the the objective was to get it straight. Where's the crescent wrench? You already put it up. So we took a crescent wrench, put it right here where it was bent up, pulled it up, and then right here, we just gave it a few whacks with a sledgehammer. It's not pretty, but it's straight. So now we're gonna put the bumper on. There, there she is. You can hold a microphone for us. So we'll take it off. And uh, put all the other Got stuff on it and then bolt it back on there. Threads aren't lining up, so we are going to tap it, or my father is going to tap it. 
and I'm going to put washers on bolts. Try, try to tap it straight. Notice how rivets look like firing pins out of ARs. AR fifteen, looks like a firing pin. Camera will get it. It has a resemblance. Don't know what they gave us with it for. two bolts that are kind of bad are going to be made up for by one, two, four other ones. So if those two are slightly weaker with the winch pulling capacity, then so what? He'll have a thousand views. Mm -hmm. I think my most views I have is like a hundred. hundred? Yeah. Nobody watches my stuff, but I like making it. So I haven't made a video in like a year. It's, it's probably going to be another year. Uh, hey, if you video. need some spirit, your cousin Taylor, she'll teach you, she'll dance for you. <laughs> Oh, look, 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 she said, what in the world is that thing doing? Well, that's dancing, man. And she said, I call that dancing. So I don't know if what Taylor told her. <laughs> that thing's nuts. All right, so we cut a small notch in it to get it to line up. And all the holes and everything, it should look good. I like the can't look. You see it on a lot of things. I think it'll look great. All right, so what we did is we drilled the holes on the inside because it's got the plate for the winch, so we couldn't get in those bolt holes. So we drilled the outside bolt holes and stuck the template with the bolt holes, then marked the other ones. And now we set the template up there and we have marked out the holes for the light pods. So we're gonna cut them and then we'll be good. I'm, I'm scared of grinders, see? I'll put that in the video, I'm scared of grinders. I might, I might mess around with one one day, but with stuff that matters, I want the old part that's cut a million things to do it.
little thing right there is probably heavy right now. Get paint on your bumper for this part you ain't gonna see. Right, so I got the cardboard. If it's baking it off, if it's not. Put it like this so the night light's upside down. Thank you, break man. Thank you so much for doing this for me. We'll get work. Oh, you can't test how much to see you for that because he waited so long the insurance company closed it out. He goes, that's all right, don't worry about it. He goes, my brother-in-law is a jack of all trades and he took care of it for me. How would you, what would the order be? Lock washer, washer, nut, or just not any lock washer? Uh, probably just, how's the screw look on there? Should be just a, on the outside, is what I'm trying to say. On the outside of this? Just doesn't look good. Just the screw, right? Yeah. And then the... Uh, the inside, they give you a lock washer, a washer, and a nut. You don't need to, just use the lock washer, don't use the flat washer. Putting a flat washer in the goat's what the lock washer does. Because then the lock then the nut can spin because it's biting into a flat washer. If it bites into the steel and into the nut, it can't reverse itself. Don't miss. Emma! Damn it. I didn't miss, but it took Would have been so much cooler if it just been one hit. All right, now we're gonna put on these Rhino USA bow shackles. Oh, those are in. definitely a good look. Definitely looks good on me. Now that the paint dry, we're gonna put on the final light pod on that right side. Winning. Always, always around to watch us struggle. Now for the fun part, we've got our Apex 12,000 pound Badland winch. Got it on sale for $4.49. When we got it, we hooked it up to the battery, it all worked. Um, so, I don't know what the normal price is. Like, I think it's $6.50, something like that. So, good deal on that. Bumper's normally $400. Got it for a deal. Two for about $300. So, no, for $200 shipped. So. All right, so we got her mounted. It took us a uh, Little bit of bending up here, 
and a little bit of, I'm pretty sure this is the bolts around backwards, but we got it in. So now we're just gonna pat up the bolts and then set it on the Jeep. Looking good. <laughs> and in the spirit of YouTube, um, now it's in. Uh, there's provided bolts, they're three quarter socket. My phone's almost dead. That's why I, uh, you're gonna get like a lot of time lapse from us like cutting holes and drilling holes. It's very minimal from this because it was literally four bolts on the winch and six bolts to bump it in and it's in. So now we're just gonna torque them down, make sure they're good. And um, it's about to rain, so we might not get the winch wired up, but we're at least gonna get the wires to the inside, not the All right, guys, so we got it all wrapped up. Um, Obviously, I think it was like last Saturday we were working on that. Um, so, ended up, you know, work week, all that stuff. Uh, we did get it all hooked up. It's all wired up. It's been raining, so I haven't been able to probably about to take it out, try to get stuck and use it. But, um, yeah, we got it all wired up, got put in. I originally said this is going to be a short video. It did not turn out to be that. Hopefully, YouTube will let me um, upload a 20-minute video. But, yeah, I'm do a little walk around, show you how we wired everything up, show you kind of all it the finishing touches because it did rain so you didn't really get much of that so yeah let's get into that all right so bolted in the winch you saw that cut the holes for the um lights you saw that everything's wired up i gotta get some split loom maybe some zip ties to get all this situated a little bit better light bar sucked up the same light bar i had before um so we had this it's ran through here it's got little holes back here it's where we ran all the lights the factory fog lights are ran there you know this hole right here so it's ran up through there back over here and we literally just zip tied this on top of the battery um so yeah that relatively simple yeah we hooked it up that way and i've made you know like i said work week spring break i worked so it's made a few long hour trips to like patterson and down there to fargo uh burn a lot of gas and it ain't gone nowhere it ain't it's all handled fairly well it's probably an extra 80 pounds in the front from the factory but it's not bad see my nasty engine bay right here but that's it all hooked up um it's relatively simple like i said just the instructions show you how to hook it up it's like three bolts to hook up to the winch and then we just ran the bolts to that hole up through there and to the battery all right so now we'll do a little demonstration how it works first step make sure your jeep's turned on all right so to use it make sure your jeep's turned on you're gonna want to put this to on you have your controller. Push this to preschool. Just pull out your winch. Push it back. And that's how it works. Don't mind the ticking 4.0. It'll still run like a hundred K. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's just getting broken in. 